Greetings again, toy fans. I am here with another toy. Um, let's get right into it. SH Figure Arts Pac-Man. I will admit this wasn't what I was looking for or searching for or thinking I needed in my collection, but uh, every time I bought an SH Figure Arts, I've been more than happy with it. They have the best articulation of any of the figures I own personally, and they have some of the best sculpt, the best detail. But uh, Pac-Man, not really known for a lot of articulation. That being said, I found it at uh, Barnes Noble for 20 bucks. So I was like, why? Yeah, I'll buy an SH figure for 20 bucks. It's a classic character. Um, right off the bat, I love the box art on this. Like, SH figure isn't known particularly for box art per se. I mean, I don't think they do any bad, but uh, I just, I just love the whole deal with this one. It's just. You know, just a classic maze. It's just very fun. Anyway, let's uh, let's crack into this bad boy, shall we? So what do we have here? I actually wasn't when I first saw it. I was like, you know, I've got a. I bought a Bandai Gundam kit for. Pac-Man, so I figured why bother, but that doesn't have any articulation, whereas this at least has some, so it's got all sorts of different little things. So, here's Pac-Man. He's got, as you can see on there, his legs, they've got a lot of up and down motion area, as you can see how far those move, um, and they're articulated. At a couple spots right there at the ankle and right there where it attaches to the body it's kind of stiff so that's actually good i'd rather have it a little stiff um looks like the foot itself also has a bit of articulation on it as well so it looks like we've got really three points four points right there on the legs alone um and the arms the arms are stationary there's no moving uh, I, I, i'm sorry they're stationary in that it's not got one of these sliders on there. The arms are where they are, but they've got a couple hinge joints. And move the arm, hand around a little bit. So this is the standard face he comes with. Normal looking Pac-Man. Secondary face, got the winking going on. And we've got just normal gloves sort of in a punching manner but we also have a single thumbs up and then a couple of just open palms great for slapping your opponents and then in the spirit of whatever bit Atari used, or got some cherries. We got a ghost. I don't know the names of the ghosts. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that's what's in here. Got the directions. I want to verify how we take off this face. It looks like you literally just pull it off. Well, he's not coming with a little bit of resistance, and I'm always nervous about these things. Okay, I wondered, because if you look on the back of these, there's a little hole you can actually poke those things into. And actually, you can even have him jumping if you want, because there's a little one on the bottom of him as well right there. And I was looking to see if somewhere in the box there was a, um, a stand for him, but it specifically says in here, Tamashi, you see that? 
Tamashi stage sold separately. Um, those things are really awesome. They're some of the best figure stands out there, but obviously you're not going to get one with this. Let me see real quick if we can swap this base out. There we go. Here's what he looks like without the face on. So you can see where he's got that whole leg movement thing down there. So that doesn't get affected by it. You don't have to worry about your legs falling off. And there you go. Put that on. Yeah, we'll give him a, have him giving a thumbs up too. Arms come off real e the hands, I sorry, hands come off real easy. And that just pops right back in there. Hey, Pac-Man loves it. Um, I grabbed another one of my Figu Arts just to show as a size comparison. Here we got Mario right next to Pac-Man. Practically the same height, really, when you look at the top, the crowns of their heads. So, uh, very fun for scaling, if you wanted. I will be honest, I bought this one uh, specifically because I like having things to combine for Smash Brothers. So, um, with Sora coming out, I'm going to break out my Sora figure arts and uh, just have a blast. So, anyway, hey, this has been fun. It was 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks for an SH figure arts, uh, the swappable face, three different hands, uh, the ghost and the cherry, the articulation on a Pac Man. It, you're not going to get better articulation on Pac-Man, period. So this is a buy, absolutely. $20. By all means, go out and get it. Uh, you're going to feel like a kid again because you've got Pac-Man. So I am Mark. This is Mark's Toy Box. It's a thumbs up on Pac-Man. Thumbs up, everybody. Winking. We'll see you next time. Take care.